It's important that children can communicate when they feel various sensations in the body, um, including pain. The process of learning to communicate something like pain really requires lots of underlying skills, including being able to identify sensations in the body, understand the names of body parts, being able to label or name those body parts so they can tell us where they're feeling pain, but also to have the vocabulary to be able to express pain. The first aid kit has been designed to further support your child in learning the names of body parts, but also in identifying and communicating various sensations in the body, including pain, all through play. So as always, it's important uh, when you introduce an activity with your child, you really follow their lead, let them explore. So as they take out the different items, you can name them. Um, as they play around with them, you can comment on what they're doing. As you get involved in play, you can narrate what you're doing. All really great ways to develop speech and language skills. So for instance, we have a thermometer, we have plasters or band-aids, uh, big and small and different colors. We have a wheat pack and we have a bandage but we also have pictures of sample scenarios and corresponding actions that you can really talk through with your child. So for instance, oh no, baby's knee is caught, what will we do? We need to get a plaster. And then you could really act it out with your baby as well. Um, so something else that you can do is use, use your wheat pack in really quite a clever way to help your child identify sensations and also learn the names of body parts. So you could use it hot or cold um, and try maybe putting it on baby. So say we put it on baby's head and say, hmm, oh, baby's head feels hot. Let's put it on your head. Oh yeah, your head feels hot. Or if it's cold, you can put it on your arm and say, oh, my arm feels cold. Let's try your arm. Does your arm feel cold? So not not only are you helping them identify these sensations in the body while experiencing them, we're also naming those body parts. So a really great way to learn by doing, but also learn through the senses. So there's lots of other concepts that we can explore as well. So we've talked about hot and cold, but you could really model other descriptive words as well, like itchy, oh baby's itchy, oh my arm is itchy, I'm going to scratch my arm. Or again, you could use your wheat pack, pretend it was too hot, and say, oh, 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 it's so hot, ah, it's hot, 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 oh, it's burning, oh, it's too hot, it's burning. Not only are you having fun through pretend play and also this lovely role play that you have going on, but you're also importantly modeling some very important descriptive words for your child so that they can maybe communicate when they're feeling these uncomfortable sensations like feeling itchy or burning. Now, of course, we want your child to be able to communicate when they're in pain. So again, you can go back to the pictures, back to your scenarios. You can really act these out. So these are just sample of scenarios. You can really act out what area it is that you you like but say for instance with her baby's knee so baby was walking along oh no she fell down oh poor baby hurt her knee now the important thing is that you are naming the body part and you're modeling the word to express pain. If your child is an early communicator, I recommend really focusing and emphasizing, emphasizing um, some smaller words to help your child express pain. So something like ow or ouch has a really nice simple syllable structure and that'll be much easier for your child to imitate over a word like hurt or sore. Um, now, of course, you can use those other words as well. So very much depends on where your child is at. So say for instance, baby's cut her knee, you can get the big plaster or the small plaster. So let's say we choose the big plaster. You can put it on all the time. You're narrating what you are doing. You're commenting what your child is doing. You're naming the body part and you're modeling that word to express pain. Lots of other concepts as well. Like we can open, oh no, baby has a cut on her knee. Her knee is sore. Ouch! You can have fun doing this in lots of different ways with the wee pack, um, with the thermometer, with the bandage, and of course with the other small plaster as well, acting out different scenes. Now, of course, you can also support your child in developing these skills throughout your day. So you could be really quite animated, pretend to bump into something and say, ow, my knee is sore. You're naming the body part, you're modeling the word to express pain. And also when your child experiences pain, so when they're hurt, what we'll always want to do, of course, is comfort them first. But a little bit later, you can talk to them, help them process the event, all while naming that body part, modeling a way for them to communicate pain. This will all help work towards and support them in coming to you and communicating the next time that they feel pain. 